Last month I showed you how Jagex accidentally made a new fastest experience method by adding the undead attribute to two new quest bosses, which can be killed in Nightmare Zone. As a reminder, here is the conclusion we came up with. Here are the five bosses you bring into the dream to maximize your XP per hour. My investigation mostly included theory crafting around maxed accounts and had other high requirements, such as use of an alt account. And you guys have given me new methods to try out, with one of them resulting in the true, fastest XP per hour for a solo player. So with another dozen hours of testing under my belt, I bring you my findings of the best solo ways to train combat stats, with different levels of AFK, and for each account type. Unless you're one of those glass cannon weirdos who wants to keep your hit points low while training your strength, this video is not for you, and stop being weird. First up is the best ways to train magic. From levels 1 to 8, you should bust out the Imp Catcher quest. Once you've completed the quest, come back to the Grand Exchange and you have a couple options here. The best way to start a new account is to use level 1 enchant to enchant sapphire rings into rings of recoil or sapphire necklaces into games necklaces. It all depends on which has a higher profit margin at the time, but either one should increase your initial investment into cosmic runes and jewelry by 30% which is really good profit. You could do this super AFK for two minutes in inventory or much more intensively at 50 seconds per inventory. As you unlock level two enchant and beyond, keep going up to emerald jewelry, ruby jewelry, and even test margins for silver jewelry like burning amulets and necklaces of passage. At level 21, and if you have made a bank of 250k GP, a very profitable but intensive way to make money is to begin gaining points in the mage training arena. This will multiply your current XP rates by 400% getting around 100,000 XP per hour with low level alchemy. You'll need a base of about 250,000 GB to afford the runes for the cheapest item available from the arena, Infinity Boots. You can make up to 300,000 GP per hour at this low level, but keep in mind if you do this for profit, you will get less than 100k XP per hour because you have to get points in rooms other than alchemy. Still, a good way to profitably train magic. And I've left the best mage training arena guide in the description. Your best bet for a fast and costly method of training is enchanting crossbow bolts. This will always be the fastest method up to level 99, but I only really recommend it from levels 8 to 21. The reason for this is because you can cast low level alchemy in zero time whenever you're doing virtually any other activity around the game. Take note that these are the items that are the best things to low alchemize right now. And once you hit 55 magic, you can now cast high level alchemy, which isn't more costly but instead is very profitable. These are the best things to high alchemize right now. You can cast the alchemy spells basically anywhere while you're doing other things in the game like questing. And because it's profitable, it's a no brainer for early levels. At level 62 magic and beyond, you can begin casting multi-combat spells on the monkeys from the tunnels on Ape Atoll. For those that have partially completed Monkey Madness 1, there are the Southern Tunnels with Undead Monkeys. And for those that have partially completed Monkey Madness 2, there are the northern tunnels which feature alive monkeys but that have zero defense bonuses. Most people think the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels are just a straight upgrade, but you don't need to earn access to them to hit the same XP rates. You can achieve the same magic XP per hour with Ice Burst just by equipping a Salve Amulet imbued in the southern tunnels. It really is worth bursting up your magic levels, especially by training the Slayer skill. So if you can't afford it, it's better to go earn money by doing other activities and then spend money on bursting, which overlaps nicely with Slayer because you can actually earn millions from bursting tasks such as Dust Devils, Necreals, and Wilderness Slayer tasks of Jellies and Abyssal Demons. Now that we've covered the fastest mage training method, which is Bolt Enchant, and the most practical method, which is multi-combat bursting, let's move on to melee combat. In 2015, the fastest solo training method was believed to be killing gargoyles on Slayer Task with the Black Mask and Abyssal Bludgeon. That method was 125,000 XP per hour. In 2016, Automology revealed a breakthrough in the best experience method, showcasing that some monsters in Nightmare Zone have an unexplained experience multiplier. That method was 155,000 XP per hour. And now in 2022, the new solo method has received significant upgrades. Not just the salve amulet with the new undead monsters, but other unique mechanics recently added to the game. This has changed efficiency in old school runescape forever. Wait, what's that? 16 free meals? I could actually save a lot of time and improve my gains. 
That's right, HelloFresh is offering a massive deal. If you don't know, HelloFresh is a meal delivery service that enable you to save time and energy by having your meals delivered directly to your doorstep. No hassle and no wasted time lugging groceries from the store. I checked out their website to see which food options I'd be interested in for my nutritional goals. And I had a few meals delivered to my doorstep right as I ran out of groceries. It was perfect timing because the meal kits allowed me to focus on making YouTube videos for you guys instead of spending my afternoon at the grocery store. Not only was the service excellent, but I loved the meals I got. I like to eat my carbs earlier in the day and finish the day with protein and fats. So I got the beef lettuce wraps for that protein and some green for my dinner. And when I'm looking for some comfort food that still has a lot of good nutrients, the spinach ravioli hit the spot just right. Perfectly seasoned if I do say so myself. This honestly was a highlight of my week to have these meals delivered to my door and they saved me a lot of time. If you're interested in trying them out and want to support my videos, Use POG ChemQ16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. You can also click the link at the top of the description. And thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring the channel. Last time I was able to get 183,000 XP per hour in a duo nightmare dream. I had an alt account finish off the lower XP rate monsters while I focused on only the best monsters to kill. But for some reason, I didn't test the XP rate for a solo method. And in the comments, you contributed your ideas to the fastest experience methods in the game. And taking feedback from Michael, we've come up with a new way to maximize XP rates in a solo nightmare. With the new bulwark changes from December, a door has a better special attack than any other weapon. This is crazy. You can hit up to 10 monsters in an 11 by 11 area. That is the largest radius of any multi-weapon. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, if I can kill the guard from all the way over here, you have to like the video. Oh, yes, that was awesome. And not only can you hit 10 monsters at once in this radius, but in the Darehawk setup, you can hit up to 48 damage on each one. As if it wasn't overpowered enough, you also get a 20% boost to accuracy. Now the Bulwark has a higher max hit, the higher defense bonuses you have. So initially, the Ring of Suffering was considered as a way to increase the max hit. But it turns out it is actually worse than the Berserker Ring Abued. But there are other alternatives. For example, Barrow's Gloves give defense bonuses, while Ferocious Gloves do not. The Amulet of Fury has defense bonuses, while the Amulet of Torture does not. Bringing a third amulet only complicates things, so I decided to bring in the Barrow's Gloves for my Bulwark specs. Oh my goodness! We're up to 186,000 XP per hour in a solo. That's beating my duo rates that I did last video. And this is only with attack XP. I would have more max hits if I was using the strength style. So in total, the maximum melee XP could be upwards of 190,000. This is so much better than the previous- Look at that! <laughs> The previous methods, 190,000. Oh my god. Okay, I did not expect it to be that high in a solo. Whoa. Now, I want this to be as accessible as possible for you, so I've left all of the items you need in the description below. An alternative to the Din's Bulwark is the Dragon 2H Sword, which will be a lot more common for pure accounts because you can use any attack style with it. However, there are other methods out there that are more relaxed, but still yield very high XP rates. Gabe suggested Scything Greater Demons in the Catacombs, which for me, resulted in 133,000 strength XP per hour with an uncharged Scythe. With the charged version, I was getting 155,000 strength XP per hour. Also, if you do this on task with the Slayer Helm, you could get up to 180,000 XP per hour. For a top 5 method, this is probably the lowest effort or actions per minute. Now in this video, I'm trying to show you the new best solo combat training methods. Mage and Melee were pretty easy because not a lot of people know how profitable High Alchemy can be, or how they can use the South Amulet for Bursting and in Nightmare Zone. But for range, there's really not that much uncharted territory. Using Black Chins on Maniacal Monkeys yields up to 900,000 range XP per hour, and I don't have anything for you that can top that. Black Chin Champas offer almost exactly 20% more XP than Reds, and are only worth using over reds if you make over 8 million GP per hour. For those that have partially completed Monkey Madness 1, you can get up to 450,000 range XP per hour chinning undead monkeys. For a pure, I thought some wilderness mobs might be worth trying, and in my tests discovered that mammoths are only 170,000 range XP per hour, and greater demons are 190,000 range XP per hour. 
Granted, this is cheaper, but chinchampas are just too good. If you ever need to calculate how many chinchampas you need, I've left my document down below. All right, if I can kill that guard from over here, then you have to like the video. Damn it.